Hey guys, Jack here. Today I want to show a quick tutorial on HipFilm 4 Express. This is a really good tutorial, it's very basic. It's just a uh, simple muzzle flash. Now, if you don't have muzzle flash stock footage already installed on your computer, you can get free stuff on Google search, like just Google muzzle flash image, and you should find what you're looking for. What you want to do, you want to go click on new, make a new project for it to load, sometimes it takes a while. Uh, click on start compositing, because we are going to be compositing today. And, um, yeah, if, if done right, you don't have to spend any money to do this. Now, if not already, uh, you can put this mode into compositing, just makes it easier for compositing. And uh, in the media panel, you want to import your, uh, whatever you've got. I will do that now. There we go. And uh, find the part where I'm uh, firing the gun. Right now there should be a uh, nothing. So um, so what? So yeah, where there's recoil, I'll frame backwards so I can find that bit. So just before there's motion blur uh, representing recoil, I'll go ahead, import my muzzle flash. It, obviously it's in downloads because I downloaded a uh, random thing off Google Images. And there we go. Place it on top of your actual media. Right now it's going to come with a black background. But... Uh, what you want to do, you want to size it so it's the size of like a Hollywood muzzle flash because usually they're a bit bigger than real looking muzzle flashes but entertainment you just make bigger to look cooler so set the blending mode to screen and what that does, it takes away the black very useful and uh, position it where it should be that's good and shorten this down so far, uh, let's watch through uh, can't really see the muzzle flash there, but yeah, that looks okay. Let's go back to the frame where it is. We're gonna add in a smoke layer now. Now on YouTube, if you search up free smoke stock footage, the chances are you will find what you're looking for. And uh, let's go down and find it, shall we? Yeah. Put this in a layer below the muzzle flash. Position it. There we go. And uh, blend mode, like always. And this actually has sound with it, which I don't really need at the moment. I'm gonna put it to mute. Um. Okay. So you can see, pretty good smoke. Just gonna shorten this down to how long it should be. Uh, gonna shorten the whole thing down to uh, around here. Perfect. Okay, now all we need is lighting. Lighting is the, probably the most complicated, but still quite simple because this is, after all, a simple tutorial. Uh, gonna put this just above our footage and uh, make sure you have the grade layer selected. What you do, uh, you you add a grade layer and um, what you want to do, you mask around the bits that probably would have already gotten light up by the muzzle flash. Uh, around my head, some of my body, leg, and this can be very rough because we are gonna feather like crazy so uh now that you have that done make sure you still have your grade layer selected in effect uh search for hue uh hue stration and lightness so put that down on the grade layer and uh on mask quite ridiculous at the moment but we can fix that real quick 
go down to the mask settings and uh, in shape you will probably find the feather strength uh, ramp that up quite a lot now it's sort of invisible what's happened but uh but there's a little problem the grade layer lasts forever when uh when you really only want it to last for i don't know uh two or three frames what we're gonna do is we're gonna shorten it down to of course two or three frames so uh one two three that's all we really need cut it down there Uh, that's pretty good. And, uh, alright, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, see you soon. Oh, wait, forgot to show you guys the end results. Have a look at this. It's a little bit glitchy. Um, but. Of course, I'll show you it in more detail later. But, uh, goodbye.